start the my orientation program it is on middleware technologies a very good morning to all of you so the agenda of this class is an introduction part the history of enterprise application integration also called as eai as well as middleware the various categories of middleware common object request brokerage architecture also called as corba the middleware and the computer telephony the usage considerations in the middleware what are the costs in the middleware the pros and cons of middleware and as well as a conclusion part so in this 25 minutes of class so we'll have a look into all these concepts the first one is what exactly middleware is this is a, a technology that comes into picture when you are talking about networking generally here the computation happens in the single computer and based on the purpose based on the usage it goes to two machines also the computation may happen in the two machines when the more computations involved we need to use the third machine fourth machine fifth machine and goes on like this initially time the computation is to happen in the single machine where we have called the processing of presentation presentation processing as well as storage processing and execution of your algorithm so presentation and algorithm execution and storage these three used to happen in the single computer based on here now to remove the burden on single computer two computers came into picture so in this two computer the storage used to happen at one machine processing as well as presentation happens and the other machine so now the client server came into picture server is to perform the storage and the client is to perform the presentation as well as the processing one this is a, actually if you see called this is a development happened in the client server architecture is while same thing here now your same processing to be finished your work to be finished i need multiple machines so that time here now the entire architecture so many machines do the computation that is nothing but a call here entire architecture is where this concept called middleware comes and plays a very crucial role you can see in this picture you can see here picture let me take the pen this is my pen. so you can see here this is application the middleware and the platform and this is the most important one application is working here and the platform is here in this platform we have called os and hardware both comes as an example of platform is so here application is running so what are the application you have written is running here and it is there on this particular platform in between the application and your hardware there is a one more technology the term comes in picture that is middleware so middleware is the glue that connects diverse computer systems typically legacy systems store information in proprietary format use proprietary protocols to communicate and may even be running on hardware that is no longer manufactured supported so this is the sitting in between the application and platform and this is a one store information in proprietary format is not in the open formats proprietary means its own format which it won't tell us here now all the legacy systems store information in proprietary formats means here now called it has their own formats they won't tell us outside which type of format they are using to store the data is so the use proprietary protocols we need to use some protocols to extract the data which is storing in the hard disk so you need to use protocols to communicate and may even be running on hardware that is no longer manufactured or supported is called so we need to use some protocols that based on the disposable 
So how do you extract the data which is there in this particular hard, hard disk? That's using the some protocol that is possible for us using this particular libraries. So if you see called here brief history of uh, enterprise application architecture is enterprise application from as early as 1960s through the late 1970s was simple in design and functionality developed largely in part to end repetitive uh, tasks. So by the 1980s several corporations were beginning to understand the value necessary for application integration is also called enterprise resource uh, planning is. So what this is the enterprise resource planning is? Enterprise here now is bigger than the normal organizations is very more work so every multinational company can be considered as a enterprises so they have called resources they need to plan the resources what are the resources human resource marketing as a production sales finance production and as well as what you have is called raw material all these are resources they are supposed to plan these resources in a very effective manner is yes or not so for that one is called they are looking for a, a software for that a software which provides the solution for the organizations enterprises so enterprise resource planning so enterprise applications from as early as the 1960s through the late 1970s the simple design and functionality developed largely in part of to and repeated tasks in the 1960s and 70s very simple but based on here now called the demand of for this particular type of products are increasing the population is increasing and automatically the demand for the enterprise applications also increased a lot by the 1980s several corporations were beginning to understand the value necessity for application integration is so what i here now call applications are various types of applications that exist marketing person is one type of application using sales and distribution one type human resource one of finance one person one type of application so these all these applications should be integrated so what are the what do you how do you integrate these all applications are so the demand for such type of integration of these applications increased a lot in the 1980s so that's why call enterprise resource planning came into picture so as erp application became much more prevalent in the 1990s there were the need for corporations to be able to leverage already existing applications and data within the ERP system means what you have is called already existing applications a new application should be combined leverage okay and this could only be done through introducing the enterprise architecture integration using that it is possible we can integrate it suppose already some, some person is one person is using the old system okay now you want like to store the new software in this one so the whole hard disk, the whole hardware should support the new type of thing. So new software saying that no, you are using old type of thing. the processor using I won't support. There is no meaning of that. So your new software should support the older type of hardware and the new type of like this here also. EI is is already existing applications. There are exist and new applications exist. So this should support both of them. Look at the diagram then. You can see the diagram. Let me clean the board. is clear so as you can this one is called so here now called various types of so one here platform is unix platform other one is called windows other one is called windows 10 windows 7 all these things are using and here now one application is broad dollar so this middleware should support it. any type of the platform should support that's most important one so we'll have a doubt from so which type of the software supports like this one there are many softwares are there support this type of things are already you started using of also without our knowledge we already started using it so middleware platforms platforms have been evolving driven by information systems requirements and architectures you can see here now so 1970s 80s 90s and other 2000s what type of the development has happened you can have a look into that one so legacy enter, uh, enterprises enterprise situations what we have is called let us see enterprise situation. Look at that one example I already told you. One more example you can see here. This is customer building. 
and here now called ERP SAP is using. Okay, one more is mainframes IBM. One more is for double double internet e-commerce using supply chain. And here we have called customer database. We have sales order processing. Here we have stock inventory. Various types of applications are exist. Now they would like they are supposed to integrate. This is called integration. Communication is happening among them to get the useful data. Here customer we have customer asking something here now. Okay. So some application prepared and this application should extract the data from various sources. It's possible using the middleware technologies. So here infrastructure services you can see here now established and already bringing that one. So what do you have middleware is can be divided into seven categories of services. How many you can divide? You can divide into seven categories: data management, communication services, distribution services, as well as object management services, application cooperation services, presentation services, and system management services. So data management services, what it does is the database and the file system middleware. This performs the storing of the data and as well as extracting the data. Okay. The communication is called remote procedure calls (RPC) and the messaging middleware. The two types of middleware becomes in picture. RPC and messaging is called. So remote procedure calls is. There are functions exist which at other places. I would like to call the function, and whenever the function have been called, I would like to get the output from the function is. So it's possible through RPC sir. Distribution services, location, time, and security services. Okay, that is also responsible here now. Main thing is security point of view. The timings, the most important thing, timings are most important for us. So our timings and the universal timing is not the same one. Changes from the place to place. So based on the at the moment, the timings also changes. Object management services by using object request brokers. Here now, call broker means call is an agent. Okay, is an agent. So here now, agent performs a, an independent activity. Agent is not dependent. Agents are independent activities. Agent means a software. So it's a software which performs a multiple uh, tasks are, which able to extract the data is called. So agents are part of so, a, in AI artificial intelligence. The various agents exist. The flex agents, okay, hybrid agent. The various agents are exist. Each every agent responsible is to work independently in the environment. Based on this is called input accepts. And the output performance it changes on its own. The performance changes on its own using the concept of machine learning. It learns automatically. That is the responsibility of the each and every agent is. So this agent what it does is call it brings see here now it it may call the required objects also object request. It uses the objects to call a a particular procedures. It uses a objects here means call methods in object to invoke a A particular method. Application cooperation services, so transaction processing, TP monitors, email, etc. That's the application at the top level. You can see at the in the OSA layers, we have seven layers exist. Na? The top layer is application layer. So there, all these protocols, whatever we have protocols, FTP, HTTP, all the protocol works at the top layer. At the top layer, this works, and also here we need to monitor. Monitor the all the transactions. So transaction processing monitors and also other protocols. What you have is email. All this also works at the top level. Presentation services. Okay, this is user interfaces, printing and multimedia middleware presentation. System management, configuration, change, operation, perform, problem and performance management services. All these also performs it. So data management services. An example of middleware supporting these features are CI Link from Cornet Informatic in France. CI Link is middleware that connects MS Windows and Macintosh applications. An example is talking about CI Link is one of one middleware developed in the France that performs one activities. Another database middleware candidate is Access Works from Oracle Corporation. This also performs the same type of work. Is. Communication services point of view, there are some software available. You can see here now. So middleware support in the communication services can be divided into two different categories. I said already, RPC and messaging systems are. So remote procedure calls. 
Now the most basic form of real variation. The most basic one provides support for transparently transform procedure calls into remote procedure calls. Just now I said you can have a look into this one. So here is server. Here we have here client calling code. So the procedure function call. So this is call and this is calling. So call and performing automatically based on the type of uh, the procedure. Here now thread is called and request has come performing and this is sent. So when, why is the thread here? So more, many people can call. Okay, using the thread, many people can call this particular particular function is. Object management services tools supporting object management services use object request brokers to provide transparent communications objects cited on different locations in a network. Okay, various uh, objects are cited are mentioned in the network. It is possible to invoke any object using this object request brokers (ORBs). Object management group (OMG). Corba is an example of this technology. So, is one of the best example. Developed by the OMG Object Management Group. Okay, a group of people are exist. That's why Object Management Group. So INOS RBX is the most famous implementation of Core BIOS. Okay. In addition to provide communication between objects, Core BIOS middleware also provide communication with the World Wide Web, RDBMS, ODBMS, Object Database Management System like this. A middleware pl platform that supports a standardized object architecture for software applications are. So it's an open standard one. Corpa is an architecture, it's an open standard one. It's a component for object management architecture. It supports distributed object computing. Just now Sar said na, what is distributed computing point of view. So what is the architecture that supports distributed object computing is Corpa supports the distributed object computing. The performance of an object won't happen in a single machine. The, here now the computation possible here now to complete the task of an object. It has to be executed in multiple systems, so that is called distributed. It, it performs its function in many machines, and then only gives the answer to us. So let me say the example. Now the time has come to say the example. The best example of what do you have is called your transaction in the e-commerce. So you would like to purchase a mobile phone in the Amazon. So you went to Amazon, you are purchasing that. So when you, when you have decided that a particular phone to be purchased. So then it asks the payment point of payment. What you do now here now payment won't happen in the Amazon. So for the payment you will enter the data using the what you call is called a net banking. So now it cannot see your bank. So now second application came into picture. First one is your Amazon. Second one is called the bank. So here now security after clearing the security the amount will be extracted and the amount will come and store back stores into the Amazon. So now Amazon as well as the bank server are talking to each other to complete the task of your the mobile phone purchasing. That's the communication happening. There it comes into picture is called this core bar. It comes into picture is called. So intermediary handling request in the system facilitates communication between clients and server objects, separates a components interface from its implementation. This is architecture of core bias. You can see client, object implementation, dynamic invocation, integrated development language. So client ideal, integrated development language, war B interfaces, skeletons and steps. We have to concept as steps and skeletons. So dynamic skeleton invocation, basic object adapter, this implementation repository, interface repository. The features of this particular things, what do you have is called object request broker, interface definition language.